So a very common question we get here is, how are baby snakes born? Are they live birth, are they egg laying? And the answer is both. They do it different ways. Now these pythons that we have, um, they hashed out of an egg, and uh, the egg is laid, it's a soft leathery egg. And uh, interesting with pythons is that they actually coil around the eggs and they lay them in a, a coil around. The mother will uh, coil completely around with her head on the top. It's kind of like a pyramid shape. And uh, that's for her to help uh, keep the humidity levels in as well as to help incubate because what she does is she can have muscle twitches and spasms. And that's like friction, like rubbing your hands together really hard, it creates nice and warm hands. And uh, they're able to raise their temperature by about seven degrees even though they are cold-blooded animals. Um, so it's quite an interesting thing to, to see happening. And uh, the, she'll do this for the next 90 to 100, 120 days, depending on the temperatures and how long it takes for the babies to hatch. And once she knows that those babies are ready to hatch, they start to cut the egg. The babies have got a tiny little egg tooth on the top of their nose, and they make these little cuts on the top of the eggs, and they'll push their nose out just to take their first breath of air. Once they take that first breath, they might stick their tongue out a few times, but they don't just pop out and kind of move away they might take a day or two before they actually come out. So they stay within their comfort of the egg. While they're doing that, not only is it comfortable for them, but they're also absorbing the leftovers of the egg yolk. And that's because that's what's gonna sustain them for the next couple of months when they make their way off into the wilderness. And uh, what happens is they absorb that egg yolk, they start building up their confidence, their head comes out a little bit further, and then the baby will come out and move off and uh, they move off at different times periodically, and that's so that you don't have a massive babies coming out at one time, so that predators that may be outside a tunnel or a, a hollow log may just sit there and pick all the babies off as they come out. So you may get one now, one later, some may hatch late at night, some early morning, and that's just nature's way of dispersing these babies um, without getting predated upon too easily. Um, although, um, once these babies hatch out of a, a massive clutch of eggs, 40 to 100 eggs, um, these babies, only about 5 to 10% of them will actually make it to a mature adult size. And the reason for this is because, A, we have a high mortality rate where um, animals will die of natural causes. It may be a birth defect where they were in the egg and they didn't develop properly. It could be an internal problem. They may not even hatch. Sometimes they don't even cut through the egg. They just die within the egg. And uh, that's exactly what we found because out of all the eggs that we had, um, there was one egg that was completely closed still um, but looked like it was ready to hatch. We made a small incision ourselves because all the others had already hatched. And uh, we found that inside there, there were uh, twins, two babies in that one egg. And uh, this is not uncommon, it can happen. But unfortunately, both those babies were dead. And that's what we call a natural mortality rate. So this would happen in the wild as well. Um, once that happens and the babies move their way off, they then start to uh, um, their life. And that could happen um, moving around during the nighttime, they look for places to hide during the day. But when they're very active, you may find predation. What eats snakes is often asked. Things like lizards, birds, birds of prey, um, cat species. There's so many different places. Large fish species, if they're swimming across a, a body of water, might get sucked in by a fish. So they do get eaten by other animals. And uh, that's what we talk about. So not massive numbers of eggs doesn't mean that there's a massive flood of babies everywhere. It just means that there's a high rate of uh, uh, animals dying and not making it to mature adults. But the life of a baby snake is very interesting because their first couple days, they go through a shedding process. They start to shed within the first week or so. And then that's about a 10 day process. Once they started, they go through what they call the blue or the opaque stage. That all clears up after about 10 days. And then they take their first uh, shed and the skin will come off nicely as they've grown and developed from the time living inside that egg. And then what happens is they start to hunt and look for their, their first meal. And that's typically on how these things start to make their way off into the wilderness. And then life goes on and then uh, it depends. The more food they get, the faster they grow um, and the bigger they get. And their lifespan ranges between about 35 to 40 years, depending on the species. In the wild, obviously, there's a lot of chance of uh, predation, but uh, it's always a fun one to know.